Here comes Tabula Rasa. It's Latin for clean slate. She's a quirky boat. She's really lovely. Repainted in 2021. Very pink, but quite distinguishable. She was last blacked in August 2020. She's a cruiser stern 54 foot narrowboat built by Hagen Ellis in 2001. The original fit out or fitted out by the owner. That pram hood and the cratch cover were new in 2021. They're in very good condition. The stern deck is seven feet five inches long. So really good social space in there. Very good head height in the pram hood as well. You can see how nice the paintwork is. Nicely decorated mushroom caps. Good sized windows. All the windows on the boat are double glazed and they were brand new in 2021. Double glazed with a thermal brake. There's a storage locker in the bows there. And the well deck itself is three foot six. Clear panels in the cratch cover. And you can unzip that front bit if you want to get into the front locker. That's quite practical. Room in here for a couple of bench seats either side if you wanted. It's a stainless steel water tank under there. And the steps lead into the saloon, 11 feet 10 inches long. Open plan at the minute, there's room in here, do what you like really, a couple of armchairs, sofa bed. There's a storage cupboard in the corner here with a stereo above it. The stereo hasn't got the speakers wired in but the wiring is all there for speakers just to be attached. A solid fuel stove, it's an arrow on a nice stone hearth. Television on the wall there, it's a 24 inch Toshiba. And this is like a little bar area in between the kitchen and the saloon. There's a cupboard, look how thick that wood is. A lot of the materials being used on the boat are really solid. Some quite expensive materials I think. All nicely done. So the galley's next, 9 feet 2 inches long, haven't mentioned head height on the boat actually, I'll forget if I don't mention that, 6 feet 2, the cooker's a Thetford oven and grill, underneath is a pulley out cupboard thing, bank of 1, 2, 3, 4 drawers there next to the Belfast sink, cupboard underneath, there is a, an instant, a more co instant hot water heater in the kitchen. That fridge is a Dometic, sorry, a Waco 12 volt with an ice box. There's another carousel cupboard. The fridge may well be three-way, I don't know that it is, but they usually are, but at the moment it's rigged up to 12 volts. Good solid shelf there above these cupboards. I think the wood is oak. Lovely floor in here. So that's the kitchen, a little corridor. Goes into the bathroom. This measures six feet long. The loo's a Thetford porter potty. That sink is ceramic, lots of mirrors above it. It's quite a neat little trick with those mirrors, we'll show you in a minute. Storage cupboard underneath. Another super thick bit of wood. And the shower itself is a tiled cubicle with a glass bifold door. So everything you need in here, there's an electric, electrically heated towel rail on the wall there. And these lift up as well. Good use of, store, of space for storage. Right, I mentioned this wall stroke bulkhead, I don't know what you should call it really. You can see the bolts at the bottom. They unbolt. And the whole thing, it's like a bifold door, I suppose. The whole thing concertinas back against the cabin side. So it really opens up the bedroom and the bathroom. I suppose if somebody's in bed and somebody's in the shower, you can be chatting away. Not seen anything like that before. Right, the bedroom, 8 feet 7 inches long. At the moment, there's no mattresses, so however you want to configure the bed, it's a full width double or a single berth. You'd need to get mattresses made. Storage underneath in the form of drawers at the ends and under the sides. A little shelf on the left hand side of the screen there and the right. A cupboard over the end of the bed here. 
It's worth mentioning she had a full survey in August 2020. That is available in the office for viewing. And then behind the bedroom, I don't know what you call this really, it's a storage area, but you could make this into a hanging wardrobe area. There's the inverter, it's a 16, 1500 watt Sterling Pro Combi inverter, that was brand new in 2020. There's a Sterling battery charger as well, galvanic isolator. And the rear deck, good size as I've mentioned, good head height in here. The engine's in here, it's a Perkins M50, gearbox is a PRM120, batteries are in there, there's a one starter and 320 amp hour domestic, so they give you your 12 volts through the boat. 230 volts on the boat is either landline or the inverter that I've mentioned. Most of the lights are LED. And the hot water is heated by that Morco instant gas water heater. Flick the, uh, open the tap and hey presto, you have your hot water. Quite practical on boats, I think. Really, she's different, but she's really lovely actually. Could make her a very cosy home. So there we go, Tabula Rasa. For further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure on the price, go to our website www.rugsboats.co.uk.